Ta. A community rife with gangs, crime and drugs. With gang lords, guns and social ills choking the lifeblood out of the people. Police under fire to get the situation under control. But if people are listening here, you've done nothing yet. There's no arrests. Yes. You are arresting people that are smoking Dhaka. Yes. You confiscate guns, but the next day they are out again. Yes. We know that the Firetown Police Station has been captured. So you were that Sanel vocabulary been captured. When you talk to the police there, they know all the drug dealers. You know who's shooting who? I'm apologetic. The panel that's sitting here, Ministry of Police. I'm so sorry to say I don't have faith in you. You failed us. That's money. That's money. And it's so sad. Our people here, they are so gullible. They have to be in your life again. I'm one of the parents that lost my son. I was in short fright. When my son was laying there, and they look at stuck here and like your people. You lie every, every time you lie, and people believe you. Huh? Following weeks of ongoing gang violence, police were deployed to the streets of Westbury. These officers will have to bring calm to the area and curb the violence that's left the community fearing for their lives. We are here, these forces are going to saturate this place. You are going to walk every corner. You are going to walk every passage. You are going to knock every house. You are going to stop everybody. You are going to get every gun. You are going to find every suspect. It's alleged that the violence stems from a turf war between rival gangs, the Fast Guns and Varadors. Community members say they are fighting for control of the area to ply their drug trade. But the police is at school because it's, it's, it's not a Fast Gun or you're not a Varador. That child was not born to be a Fast Gun or a Varador. You are brought on that up to serve God and to God with you. And remain skeptical of any interventions. The challenge that we have is it shouldn't be for a short spate of time. For example, now this is for three months. It's been happening here, like you say, for many years and stuff like that. And we don't have uh, more police community and uh, visibility in the community and stuff like that. So my question to this is good initiative, but what happens after three months? We are lazy. We are the drug lords. We are the gun shooters. We are the hijackers. Everything that is bad is because you cut it. This Saturday, a couple of days ago, I was sitting on my toilet in the shot of my window. I'm not a gangster. I was sitting on the toilet there number two and I have to slide. I mean, is that right? Learners from the local high school are too scared to go to class as they fear being caught in the crossfire of the ongoing gang war. I would like to ask, what is the plans moving forward? Do we, do you all have a plan to make sure that us as learners, when we come to school Sorry? and go home, we can be secure? Yes, yes. I can agree with the community that all of us are scared. Even I am scared. Every day, waking up is like, oh my God, am I going to wake up and be shot when I leave the gate? What if today is the last day I see my mother? It's not what an ideal teenager should be thinking about. Authorities say they will use every resource at their disposal to rid the community of criminals. Nozin Dombi Mia, SABC News.